Today, testing new flow patterns, drilling into acrylic, injection molding some stuff, switching to a new manufacturing process for the first time, and as usual, some fails. Hi again. Today we're talking about the continuation of my water-cooled LED project. For over eight months now I have been working on building the perfect water cooling solution for those cheap 230 volt AC cop LEDs. The concept has evolved over time, so if you want to check that out, how the modules that I look, made before those looked, check out this video. The last generation I, of modules I built were casted in resin. But that didn't work out so well. Uh, see this video on why. Uh, so I decided to switch to another manufacturing technique. That resulted in me designing and building a ghetto injection molding machine so I could, well, injection mold my modules. After multiple months and way too much frustration I could finally start producing modules from injected polypropylene. But then the big disappointment hits. Almost all my made modules were leaking. I assume that was because the volume of the parts were over the volume of my injection molding press and I had to fill the mold in two passes which resulted in bub bubbles in the material. Then I tried to weld the leaks shut but this only worked in some cases and was very time consuming. I also had problems with the seals not working because I cut them by hand and they were whack in general. Oh, and did I mention that I also tried to make them soft in my lab oven so I could press the LEDs better in there? Well, that also didn't work out so well. Now I was really frustrated, so frustrated that I decided to get a CNC machine to make my life easier. Sadly, the manufacturer only included software tips for Windows, but with some help of Universal, Universal G-Code Sender and CNC GS, I managed to get this thing running under Linux. I had never before used the CNC, so it was quite a learning curve, but after some tinkering with FreeCAD, FreeCAD and some broken bits, I learned to love that danger device. So anyway, I started designing new modules. I used a 10 mm and 5 mm acrylic plate to sandwich the LED. To improve flow area over the heat source, I decided to add some snaking. I also made some test modules from wood 
because uh, when I did the first design I didn't have acrylic on hand uh, just to try out if my mill could do this and could do this snake and yeah it works but I don't think this wood would be watertight. Yet when I installed the first modules with my beta tester he noticed that side feeding modules now create a huge cable salad. Since I changed the fitting diameter to a smaller one and now had the modules to be running in parallel so the water flow would be better. To achieve that I built a kinda creepy, uh, kinda crappy uh, 1-3 adapter from some welded bottle caps. But as usual it leaked so I had to pre replace it with something better. For that I got some 15 15 mm acrylic square stick and drilled some holes into it. This resulted in some quite fine looking adapters. One, two, three adapters. It's missing a few of the fittings now because I used them for something else. But I already ordered new ones to put them back in there. To at least make the water cabling a little bit less of a deal, I redesigned so the fittings could be placed on top. This in turn now allowed me to use 5mm acrylic on the top and the bottom, which reduced my cost per module by almost one third. And while I was at it, I also designed this holding system because it allowed better mounting at my beta tester's location. After making four modules with different sealing materials, I saw some room for improvements. I didn't had to cut the seals from hand anymore since I built a drag knife attachment for my CNC, but I only getting so few seals out of every given silicon mat. Also, there was room to even use less acrylic. With that in mind, I designed the micro module, using the least amount of acrylic and the real o-ring to reduce the sealing costs. Then I procrastinated again and made some blender renders with a friend. After making and testing the micro module, I noticed I went full cycle since it was basically the same design I made seven months earlier with 3D, 3D printing and then resin casting. So I did a test 3D print before actually milling the micro module. And it looked quite good. I tested it with a LED and it fit very snug. So then I went on and made the actual module. As you can see it it's quite tiny compared to the last type of module. But this time it worked because it has a lid to prevent the LED from wrapping so much the seal gets leaky. So that was basically it for today folks. I hope to see you next time. If you want more infos about the whole LED water cooling project, check out the info box below.